So I'm gonna tell you guys about how to identify how a card is fake and what you can look for so this doesn't happen to you. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a little different kind of video for you. Uh, I got a card in eBay, and it's definitely fake. So I'm going to tell you guys about how to identify how a card is fake and what you can look for, so this doesn't happen to you. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. And let's get down into this counterfeit card identification. So this is the card I received. It's a Pokemon card. It is Shining Mewtwo. And you can see, that, you know, they did a decent job with the counterfeit. I got it, you know, hats off to the decent job, but this is not a legitimate card. And if you've never seen a Shining Mewtwo before, it's very possible from the pictures that you might believe that this is a legitimate card. But there are a couple things that give away the fact that it's a counterfeit, and I wanna go over that with you guys. So if you've seen a Shining Mewtwo in person before, you know that there's texture in the foiling that goes along the shape of Mewtwo that is not present here. You can also see barely that the foil is coming through where the print is, which is always an identification that a card is either cheap or counterfeit. If you look at the back as well, you can see that the Pokemon print has some uh, bigger spots in it. The color is not exactly right. And a good way to check that is if you take the card, if you hold a real Pokemon card up next to it, you can see some of the difference. You can see the difference in the color of the border relative to the color of the center of the card. You can see the difference in, in the way that the Pokemon text is printed. And when we go to the other side, you can see on this shining Lugia, I don't have a real shining uh, Mewtwo, but you can see how much hollow foil comes through versus how much hollow foil comes through on this. It's really not much at all. And yeah, the, the shining Mewtwo's, the printing wasn't as advanced, but this is definitely not a legitimate card. So I did start a dispute on eBay. I was able to get my money back and I will be sending this card back to the counterfeit producer today. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys are able to see some things that you can look out for on cards like this. And, you know, hopefully you guys don't get a counterfeit card as well. Um, if you do, it's always worth taking pictures. I recommend taking pictures as you're taking the card out of the package. Uh, take a video, take as many pictures of the card as you can. Make sure you compare it to other things. If you have any friends that have legitimate copies of the card, you can always compare what you have to their card. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a counterfeit. So um, this has been Joku DMD and with uh, you know information on counterfeit cards, I hope this video was helpful. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your time. And I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So somebody asked me in the comments on one of my videos, why floss before you brush? Now, the reason why I recommend a floss before you brush is because when you floss, you're getting stuff out from between your teeth. And when you brush, you brush all of that out of your teeth. If you brush before, you're not necessarily going to get all the stuff that you floss out of your mouth. So if you floss first and then brush, you're getting a real clean and real effective way of cleaning your teeth. And that has been your dental tooth tip. So thanks for watching my show and I will see you guys next time.